Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, do you ever have questions about life in Christ, about the Bible, about Jesus and what it means to follow him? Uh, or just maybe why the church does what they do? Uh, that, that's legitimate because you're not alone. John the Baptist, you know, the prophet who came before Jesus, uh, his disciples had questions of Jesus. Matthew chapter 9, verse 14 says, Then the disciples of John came to him saying, Hey, why do we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples don't fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. He doesn't stop there. He goes on and says, No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch tears away from the garment, and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wineskins. If it is, the skins burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, and so both are preserved. So what is Jesus getting at? How is he answering their questions about why the disciples don't fast when everybody else is? Well, the first one and the easy response is Jesus was just here temporarily. He only had three years of ministry and he's saying, my disciples aren't going to fast while I'm here because I'm the bridegroom and, and everybody's rejoicing while I'm here. But the days are coming when I will not be here after his death, resurrection and ascension. And then my disciples will engage in fasting just like you guys. So, I mean, that's part of it. It's just a temporary occurrence. The second one, though, and the one that's a little bit more involved is Jesus is basically saying to them, you don't get it because I'm establishing a new covenant, a new relationship between God and his people. And, and uh, it's different from the old covenant. It's not an improvement on the old covenant. It's not an update. It's not an old covenant 2.0. It's, it's a complete replacement of the old covenant. When we talk about old covenant. We're talking about the Old Testament law. You see, nobody in all of creation had been able to keep the Old Testament law except for one, and that was Jesus. And Jesus completed the Old Testament law because he met all the requirements, and then he offered himself up as a sacrifice for us, establishing the new covenant. That whole new wine and new wineskins thing, that's what he's saying. This is all new. It's not, a, it's not just uh, you know, an adaptation of the old, it's a replacement of it. And we need to understand that because we're not trying to keep the law to be good people. We are saved by the grace of God in Jesus Christ. It is a radical replacement. And I, for one, am very thankful for the new covenant because there's no way I could keep all those rules of the Old Testament. Neither can you. And I am thankful for the grace of God that gives me eternal life, that makes me a child of God, that guarantees heaven is my destiny. And so I'm going to rejoice in the new wine and the new wineskins that replace the old. And I hope you will too. Have a great day.